Farm Hands, Farmer Reef here. Welcome back to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, we're going to talk about the blood shrimp, the scarlet shrimp. These are like a, a must to have in your tank, I say, because what they do is they're going to set up a cleaning station over a ledge. And what's going to happen is your tanks and stuff, they're going to go to that area. And what they're going to do is they're going to clean any parasites off the fish, any dead tissue, anything that's not supposed to be on the fish, they'll definitely help them, guys. That, that's what part they do. They'll set up that nice cleaning station, and it's it's amazing to watch that you know that connection between the fish and the shrimp, just like in the wild. And that's what they do as well. Any uh, fish will have a spe certain area it'll go to, and that shrimp will always usually be there. So I can't wait to show you guys that uh, connection that they're, they're going to have. So what I do is I got uh, I got six here. I got two per tank. Um, I end up I got these all pre uh, acclimated as well. So we can just uh, show you guys, we're gonna put them into the tanks here, guys. But when you do the acclimation process, you can either do, you can, do, you can use the, the drip process. Just always make sure. I do about, my shrimp's about an hour and a half. Um, they're very delicate, they don't like much change. Um, if you have high nitrates in your tank as well, they, they don't tolerate that or any different kinds of copper, guys. So you always wanna make sure to keep your nitrates in check. No copper ever enters your tank. All right, gang? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get two into each tank and then hopefully they won't hide and we'll be able to check them out on camera. All right, I just want to show you guys up close and personal what they look like before I end up putting them in the tank in case they try to hide on us. See how beautiful they are, the scarlet. They're really, really very bright red with white. We got two per tank, as you guys can see. I really enjoy having these uh, kinds of shrimp in my tank. You get to watch how the tangs and everybody uh, interacts with them. They all serve a purpose. So I want to make sure that, you know, make sure you acclimate them, take your time. Um, they're very delicate and you don't want to lose any of them. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start, uh, we're going to net them out and we're going to get two into each tank. All right, guys, so we're going to get two in each tank. So we're going to start uh, with Krypton. So we're going to net them out. It's always good to try not to get any of, uh, you know, your store water or your quarantine water into your tank at all. So we're just going to grab them, be very gentle with them, very delicate. They don't like much change. So we got one in there. So always make sure your salinity and temperature is always the same. All right, we got two in the Krypton. So let's move on to Asgard. These are very nice size. These guys, oh, take it easy, Jeff. One. It's going to be a tricky. Not letting go. There's two. And then our last one. Move him into Tatawan. <laughs> Look at him, he's not letting go. One more. So after we get them in the tank, I'm gonna bring you guys up close. We can check them out. We're gonna learn a little bit of information about them. There we go. So we got them all into all three tanks. So let's come up close, let's learn a little bit about them. Uh, surfing uh, the turbo snail right now, as you guys can see. Um, so these ones are out of uh, Sri Lanka, Indonesia as well. Um, some information, uh, the blood uh, fire shrimp, also known as the blood fire shrimp or the scarlet shrimp, is one of the most popular shrimp in the aquarium hobby game. Um, it has the blood red body with the white spots, long uh, white antennas. Uh, depending on uh, which region of the Indo-Pacific it originates it from, it has the white dots just on the capres of its covering its entire body. Look at him go, he's ever moving around. Um, the, the blood shrimp was uh, overhangs, it likes uh, lighting as well. It's intense, it'll tolerate its own kind, um, but it wants to have its own uh, area. Um, it's generally peaceful for most organisms. Uh, it's reef safe, um, it has to be very territorial. Um, it'll definitely eat uh, frozen foods, flake foods, uh, freeze-dried fruits as well. So these guys here, um, they'll end up eating, and eating parasites and eating Rod's food as well. Can't wait to try that out, gang. 
Well, the water conditions that these ones like, they like a bit of 72 to 78 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Um, try to keep your uh, pH around 8.1 to an 8.4. Um, supplements for uh, these little guys as well. Um, you're going to be looking for uh, calcium, magnesium, iodine, and trace elements. Because when they, they molt, take on their, uh, their new skin, they enjoy having, uh, make sure you keep all your elements in check. All right, gang, so hopefully you guys learned a little bit of information on, on the blood shrimp. It's a great addition for our reef tanks. They're really coming along. We're getting a lot of different life in here, and they're definitely, I say, a must to have in your tank. If you want to keep all your different fish healthy and keep the parasite free, it's definitely a great tool to have, gang, so why not? So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Hopefully you guys learned a little information. If you guys could please subscribe and hit the like button, and please leave any comments below, and definitely enjoy getting back to you and chatting, all right? So thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night. Bye.